So the youngest generation entering the workforce, Generation Z, is well prepared to use generative AI at work. New Gen Z graduates are fluent in AI and ready to join the workforce. They're using AI tools for tasks such as writing, editing, code checking, and financial management. And while Gen Z may see AI as valuable, they still also have concerns about its implications. So the youngest generation entering the workforce, Generation Z, is well prepared to use generative artificial intelligence, AI, at work. It seems like they've been using AI to explore its capabilities even before joining the workforce. That's right. It's interesting to see how Gen Z has grown up with digital devices and services from an early age. They're comfortable with technology and open to exploring new technologies like AI. In fact, they're often referred to as the first digital native generation. Absolutely. And this familiarity with technology has allowed them to leverage generative AI in various ways. Many Gen Z graduates have used AI tools like ChatGPT from OpenAI to help them with tasks like writing cover letters, editing essays, checking code, and even managing their finances. It's impressive to see how generative AI has become integrated into their lives and education. Some universities are even incorporating it into their curriculum rather than banning it due to fears of cheating. For example, a writing class at Arizona State University explored generative AI and discussed its benefits and limitations. Right. And it seems like Gen Z sees AI as a valuable resource rather than a threat. They recognize that while AI can assist with tasks, it still requires human input and creativity to truly excel. They understand that AI can save time and help them build new skills. Definitely. However, it's worth noting that some Gen Z individuals do have concerns about the implications of AI. They worry about things like the spread of misinformation, job displacement, and the potential for employers to prioritize cost-cutting over quality work. Despite these concerns, it seems like Gen Z is embracing AI and taking a proactive approach to learning how to use it effectively. They understand that AI is here to stay and believe that learning to use it now will bring them numerous benefits in the future. How does AI affect kids? Psychologists weigh in and discuss the impact of artificial intelligence on children's relationships, highlighting both the positive and negative effects and emphasizing the importance of using AI technology to enhance, rather than replace, human interaction. Today we're talking about the impact of artificial intelligence on children, specifically in terms of their relationships with AI chatbots and companions. That's right. Children can form deep connections with inanimate objects, like teddy bears. And now, with AI chatbots becoming more lifelike and interactive, this phenomenon is taking on a whole new level. Psychologist Banu Kellner, founder of the Superhuman Society, explains that AI chatbots can give children exactly what they want to hear, which may lead them to form stronger bonds with these AI companions than with real humans. That's a significant problem because it could prevent children from learning how to navigate complex human relationships. Kellner emphasizes the importance of ensuring that AI products help children develop life skills, particularly social skills, rather than replacing human interactions altogether. Yes, and there are several notable companies that are operating artificial intelligence into education and entertainment for children. For example, there's Pinwheel GPT, a kid-safe artificial intelligence chatbot designed for children aged 7 to 12, which generates age-appropriate responses. And let's not forget about Camigo, a chatbot that mimics historical figures to interact with students on the Khan Academy learning platform. These examples show how AI is being used to engage and educate children. However, there are concerns about the long-term effects of relying solely on AI for companionship and therapy. Then there's the epidemic of loneliness in Western countries and how some people have turned to AI companions and chatbots to address their mental health concerns. Psychotherapist Roby Ludwig emphasizes that while AI chatbots can offer instant support, they cannot replace the nuanced and empathetic care provided by human therapists. It's important not to neglect the depth of emotional support required for certain conditions. Absolutely. And there are also ethical concerns surrounding AI's imps on children. It raises questions about the responsibility of tech companies in building safe and secure AI technologies. As psychologist Banu Kellner points out, these companies often capitalize on our brain's wiring to keep us hooked on social media platforms, 
which can disproportionately impact children. The bottom line is that AI has the potential to greatly impact children's lives, both positively and negatively. It's crucial that we guide parents in using AI technology to benefit and add value to their children's lives, rather than becoming a replacement for human interaction. Three ways to get ChatGPT to write like you. Today is all about using AI to generate text in a specific voice. Jessa Gamble is a professional ghostwriter who specializes in making a unique voice come through in writing. That's right. They tried three different methods to generate text in a specific voice and evaluated how well they worked. The first approach they tried was feeding an AI tool called ChatGPT an excerpt of existing text and asking it to write about a topic in the same style as the example given. They used a book that Jessa had ghostwritten as an example. And the results were impressive. ChatGPT was able to generate sentences that closely matched the style of the example text. It even came up with resonant phrases that weren't in the sample. However, they found that the length of the writing sample was important. When they tried using a smaller single paragraph sample, the results fell short. Jessa explained that voice doesn't come across in just a single paragraph because you need more volume for pattern recognition. That's true. And if you don't have any written content to use as an example, you can use transcripts of speeches or conversations instead. ChatGPT can help clean up those transcripts and generate text in a specific voice based on that. Another approach they tried was providing some information about yourself, like an autobiography, to nudge ChatGPT toward your writing style. They shared the client's occupation, location, life experiences, and personality traits. But they found that ChatGPT heavily relied on stereotypes when incorporating these details into the text. While there were some gems, it would still require quite a bit of editing. The third method they explored was describing the voice they wanted ChatGPT to emulate. They incorporated 10 descriptive words that captured the unique characteristics of the voice. And they found that specifically describing the voice gave the best results. However, it's important to note that human intervention is still required, and the process of working with AI tools like ChatGPT is something that writers will need to develop and refine. Absolutely. It's all about finding the best approach that works for you and your writing style. And as you continue to collaborate with AI in your writing journey, you'll learn how to use the tools effectively for your specific use cases. I gonna pay my bills?